Hi guys, I made this little video with um, Medit um, i700. Um, I'm trying to show how to um, scan two crowns right next to each other using a double chord technique, which is sometimes challenging when uh, there are too many chords in the one area. So I basically um, prepped and packed chord and scanned tooth number 14. And now that I'm happy with it, I basically blocked it, which is that blue area. Tooth number 13 has a small um, decayed lesion on the distal. Um, so I had restored that and I have already prepped number 15. So I'm cutting them out of the original scan. And now I'm going to rescan the area. And tooth number 14 will not get disturbed because I have already blocked it. This way I can scan each tooth separately and take the cords out of the first one. So I have more room in interproximal, interproximally for um, a packing cord for number 15. And then I'm going to scan tooth number 13, which I've done a small composite, a DO composite. And uh, here I notice that I have um, have a spot on the distal of number 13 that did not scan properly. So I'll do the same thing. I basically block both 14 and 15. And now I go in there and try to rescan that little small area. This way, if I accidentally go over 14 and 15, it does not disturb the scan that I already have and I'm happy with. As you can see, I got that little spot filled in. Then I go and unblock everything that I had blocked, and I'll go in there and uh, process the the video, and then double check everything to make sure I have all the margins that I'm looking for. I've set up the um, i700 uh, laptop in a way that as I export the, the scans, it automatically goes into the computer for my Glidewell mill. And as you can see, I have uh, drawn the margins for number 14. And then I'm going to check number 15. 